Do not forget, you can support the channel with a like and you can also subscribe to be aware of the latest published videos. Thank you. We hope that here you can find the latest news, ideas and discoveries from the scientific world. Terrifying 80s abductions that changed America forever Cherry Mahan Cherry Mahan's shocking disappearance went down like every parent ever since has imagined in their worst, darkest nightmares. It was the afternoon of February 22, 1985, and Cherry was being dropped off from school in her Pennsylvania town. Her parents heard the bus roar by their home and knew the little eight-year-old girl would be inside at any moment. After all, she only had to walk less than 150 feet, 45 meters, from the bus stop to her family's driveway. But she never made it. When Cherry didn't come to the family's front door after a few moments, her parents went outside to see if she had stopped to talk to a friend. Instead, they found her footprints in newly fallen snow just down the block. But right before they reached her driveway, the print stopped, and just feet away, tire tread marks showed a car had pulled away. The Mahan family called the police, and cops were immediately dispatched to investigate. The bus driver and several children on the bus all confirmed that Cherry was dropped off at her normal spot that afternoon. But on the extremely short walk home, something awful clearly happened. Cops quickly learned from other neighbors that a very distinctive van had been parked on the street that day. The van had a memorable mural painted on the side of its paneling, a skier going down a mountain. The van had been parked right along Cherry's path to her house, but when her parents had gone out to check on her, it was gone. As police canvassed the neighborhood and reached out to their contacts, they figured the unique van would be easy to find. Sadly, it wasn't. Even with the skier mural painted on the side, cops never managed to track down the van or its driver. Along with that missing lead, Cherry was never seen again. Having learned from abductions earlier in the 80s, Pennsylvania detectives launched a full-on media blitz. Hoping to draw attention to the girl's case, they plastered her picture and information all over local television stations and newspapers. They even printed up postcards with Cherry's face on them and a have you seen me? Message typed across the bottom. Postcards like that would go on to become commonplace in stranger abductions, but Mahans were the first ever mass-produced and mailed out by the NCMEC. Sadly, they didn't result in any leads. To this day, Cherry has never been found.